Hello, this is Georgia551. You might remember my video on the iClops child's uh, video projector. Well, this is the anatomy of aforementioned video projector. I took it apart to see what it consists of, and I've taken it apart to a point that I'm comfortable with. In fact, here's the upper casing. The lens part is somewhat dismantled. My hopes is that I'm going to be able to put it all back together again. And you might notice the fan has been taken out. That's junked. Doesn't really need it. Especially if you take the screen out. So there's my video device pumping video. And right here is where your audio and video come in. And here's the board that handles all of that. And here's the little speaker that your stereo sound is uh, combined in. So it's not a stereo, not exactly stereo. Here's your power switch that turns it on and off. And over here, this is the video board with the, its little processors, especially the metal one behind the wires right here. I don't know if you can see, yep. Yeah. Which feeds a signal into this cable that's in the center, which ultimately goes to the video itself. It's very temperamental, that's why it's going in and out does not like some of the directions it's being bent. Ultimately, let me shut this off for a second. It goes here to this to the video portion. Which actually goes in like this. This being the top. And here's your heat sink. It doesn't really get too hot when it runs. It's a tad warm. Right there, you can see it right, right where I'm pointing, is where the LED array is. It uses an LCOS with four LEDs, two green and one red and blue, respectively. It's to help compensate for the purplish hue that your liquid crystals tend to give. And right here in the center, is the display itself and a prism. You can see it, this plastic piece here is at a 45 degree angle to hold the prism. I don't know if you can see the, uh, see the 45 degree angle of the glass. What happens is this LED shoots light to that prism. I guess I don't know if the angle's showing up. You're pr just probably seeing the LCOS display. It hits the glass, like I said, at a 45 degree angle. And because glass will not allow light to escape at a 45 degree angle, it gets reflected onto the LCOS, which then will reflect back out. Now what happens here is as the LEDs are alternating colors between red, green, and blue is the computers on this little board send a black and white rendering of the image using only that primary color. So when the red's on it does all the red work, green, green, blue, blue, and it varies the dots intensity. And how that's done is almost similar to DLP in a sense. Is your positive is your your positive is your liquid crystal and your negative or cathode are these little mirrored prints inside side. So what happens is depending on how intense the crystals are activated depends on how much of that mirror is showing up. So if you get a gray, 
half the uh, half the light will be allowed through. White, all of it, black, more or less none. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on now. And I'm gonna try to do, and I don't know how successful this is gonna be. Since I gotta balance a camcorder. Alrighty. And this display unit, which is being temperamental for the time being, I'm gonna do is put this filter over it. So hopefully you can see I have it held upside down. Oh, there it goes. There it is. And you can see it in the reflections on the filters, but there it goes again. You can see the image. And if I tilt it like this, you can see the 45 degree angle of that prism. That you can see that sort of uh, milkish, milky type hue, that's the light being reflected to the Elcos in the back, which ultimately becomes the image. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Whoops, too far. Okay, it's a little too far, but you see that there's an image there. Okay, now to put everything back up here on the table. Now that I've shown you what the components, I'm shutting out the light so you can see it operate. Now, the one thing you'll notice about this, let me write it, is that's your, those are your LEDs, the two greens, the red and the blue. And like I said, the two greens is to offset the purplish hue of liquid crystal displays. And they are flickering at a fast rate. Problem with LEDs is they, when you want to make them really intense for a projector, the viewing angle is very narrow. So, it's so narrow that the areas, the quadrants that are not in the position of the corresponding LEDs will be darker. Like the red part of the picture will be brighter in the upper left. The blue part will be, the blues would be brighter in the lower right. And the green would be that of the half where Those two are, as you can. Like I said, this is this is not the actual lens to the projector itself, so video looks a little cruddy, which is okay. And that buzzing noise is the speaker, because this is not making the best of. I don't even remember what that is. Oh yeah, mana mana. Hope they don't mind. And the sound's coming from the speaker right here. And as I can tell you, the blue LED is in this quadrant, and because of the narrow focus, this area doesn't get the as much blue. Same with the red. Here's where the red LED is. So this area doesn't get the red. And the same thing with these two greens. It's there and there, too narrow focus, so there's, the consistency is poor. And, more or less, in a, some way, shape, or form, as I play with this thing and try to line it up, is how the projector works. 
And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this.